thing about New York City is that people don't really feel connected to the water. I'm Lee Dillon. I'm one of the dive instructors from New York Harbor School. When I was a kid, to me, the idea of even touching the water was like you're, you're taking a risk. It was dangerous. Diver going down. And when I first started diving in New York City, I was amazed at how much I saw. I thought that I would just go in and see nothing but muck and garbage. But there's tons of organisms down there. What most Americans don't know is that oysters are, are very like needed in the environment. They're filter feeders, and one oyster can filter around 50 gallons of water a day. You'd never expect like such a small it's organism to filter that in much water and clean our harbor. Oysters are ecosystem engineers and provide habitat for hundreds of different fish and invertebrates. My name is Peter Malinowski and I'm the director of the Billion Oyster Project. They're known as keystone species, meaning they have a disproportionate positive effect on the ecosystem. Historically, oyster reefs were the dominant habitat type in New York Harbor. Back in the day, when Europeans arrived, there's stories of them lowering baskets over the side of the boat, pulling them up full of fish. And when we ate all the oysters and removed all that habitat, we sort of cut the whole ecosystem off at the knees. In 1972, with the passage of the Clean Water Act, it became illegal to pollute in New York City. Since then, it's gradually become cleaner and cleaner. And now, the water can support invertebrate larvae, which it didn't used to be able to. And so oysters are coming back, and barnacles are coming back. And so we're just trying to give oysters a little boost. Get people moving. We have to get on the boat. We're gonna hit dark at 4:30, so we really gotta get cracking. Any free hands? Go downstairs and start loading the boat. Yeah, just go downstairs and start getting things uh, together. Jeffrey, can I see you for a second? I'm Rogers. From the earliest founding principles behind the school, we wanted to serve kids who otherwise might not have just a good go educational opportunity. My name is Murray Fisher. I'm the co-founder of the New York Harbor School. I like rushed my SATs to get here. Which has been a beautiful thing because now we have kids from all five boroughs. Every socioeconomic, ethnic, geographic, academic background now at Harbor School, and it's extremely diverse. Check how many um, harnesses we have. This is the first time the kids are running the dive completely from start to finish. We've attempted to build a school where the curriculum is both relevant for engaging young people because it's exciting, it's unique, it's interesting. It's relevant in terms of the training for careers and it's relevant for college prep readiness. The divers are going to get ready here and everybody who's helping needs to get this stuff from the back. Me and Rogers are mostly in charge on getting this whole setup. Kaylin, you can go. I'm working the comms box. I'm a safety diver for the divers that are in now. The line has memory in it. I attend the line that the divers are in in my wetsuit. Yes. Making sure they're diverse safe. That's a job of the What my task is, um, we're trying to tie in the fiber optic cable from the oyster site to shore so that you could actually go online on a website and you could live stream what's happening underwater. Students have done everything from running the perimeter uh, to installing loose oyster, to monitoring the oysters by taking samples up onto the boat. Uh, where aquaculture students will measure the oysters' growth and see how they're doing, how many died, how many lived. We've just begun um, this project. We're just going to get a new set of divers in. And the kids have built different reefs in different locations, but we're still working on finding that perfect model that we can put in all over New York City. But when that finally happens, you know, it's gonna change the environment in the city. I mean, we're basically fixing 100 years of mistakes that our parents and grandparents made, uh, if not, you know, directly, indirectly, just by living in the city. I suppose it is a big responsibility, but it doesn't feel like that. I heard a saying once, like, if you enjoy something, you never really work a day in your life. And that's exactly how this is for me. Yeah, I was um, planning about going into the field of commercial diving. After high school, I want to go to commercial diving school and become a commercial diver so I get to dive all the time. There's different jobs you can take 
NYPD, firefighters. We are hoping to restore oysters back into New York Harbor. You know, I think what we hope is that in 50 years, they're gonna take their grandkids to the shores of the Hudson River, to the East River, and go for a swim. All right, ready? One, two, three, arms up! Uh, in 20 years, I see this and the water's like clear or clean. And I can say that, hey, I had a part of this. I actually did something, uh, even if it's a small part, that helped restore this.